Hi guys, Christina here and in today's video I wanted to show you what kind of art supplies I received as presents for my birthday. Some of these things I received as like physical presents that were bought for me and given to me on my birthday but a lot of people uh, chose to give me money so I can buy the things that I need. Um, a lot of people in my life have no idea what kind of art supplies I use and need and love and want to try out but they want to be supportive of what I do so it was very kind and generous of them to give me money for my birthday so I can get what I want and also I feel like I, I don't need to make this disclaimer because uh, most of you know me well enough to know that I'm not doing this video for bragging but if is there, there is anyone new um, watching, I just want to say that I'm doing these types of haul videos because I personally enjoy watching what other people buy um, for art supplies and I love talking about art materials in general. I like to hear in the comments if people have opinions on some of the things that I got and um, also I like to give people an idea of what they can see in future videos, what they can expect in future videos. So with that out of the way, let's get into the birthday art supply haul thing. So um, the first two things that I received were actual presents that I get to open for my birthday and um, there are two palettes by uh, Kuratake Gensai Tambi. The first one is the Starry Colors palette and it's basically very similar to the Fine Tech palette that a lot of people use on YouTube and um, it's a bunch of different shades of gold going from like red gold to white gold it's very pretty and I've been using it pretty much every single day since I've received it I really love this product and I have a review video for it which I'm gonna link to in the description of this video in case you're interested in um, seeing me using this for the first time um, I did a review video for this product as well. It's another present that I received and um, it's the 36 color watercolor palette by the same brand. Again, a lovely product. I did like a first impression video for it and I'm very very happy with it. I've been using it a ton and I'm absolutely loving it. I don't know how I've been living without this. Um, I'm absolutely in love with this palette. Another thing that I got with the idea that I'm gonna do a video um, about it, well I didn't buy it specifically for the video but it would be nice to make a review video, it was this set of alcohol based markers. I found this set on Amazon. Uh, a bunch of people have been making videos uh, trying out cheaper alcohol markers that they found on Amazon and I, I was really curious. I've been curious for a little while so now that I ended up having some money to spend on art supplies I decided to get a set and try them out for myself. I haven't really played with them or anything um, but I can tell you that they feel a lot more expensive than what I paid for them uh, so that's really a pleasant surprise but um, I think I'm gonna do a review video for these markers and kind of let you know what I think about them. Uh, some people have had an amazing luck with uh, markers off of Amazon so hopefully these are gonna be decent as well. I'm not expecting miracles but hopefully they'll be usable at least. Um, another thing that I got for my uh, watercolor work was um, a heat gun I use this to dry my paper in between layers of paint and again it's one of those things that I've purchased and I've been using it every single day since I got it. It's incredibly useful and it was actually cheaper to get it from Hobbycraft than it was to order the exact same one off of Amazon so shop around if you're in the market for one of them uh, but a really useful tool that I've been enjoying a lot lately. Two things that kind of go together. Um, I got a gel press. Um, I kept the packaging to show you as well, um, like the little paper thing that came with it. Um, yeah, I've been wanting one for a very long time. I finally decided to get one. I found it for a very decent price on Amazon. I ordered it and then when I went back on Amazon I couldn't find it anymore for the same price. So I don't know if I bought the last one or what the case might be but I got an amazing deal for this and I also got a rubber briar 
for it um, to spread the acrylic paint on the surface and I've already shared with you one artwork that I use these things for um, this piece here if you have seen it and um, yeah I'm very happy with it I definitely need to practice more um, because I don't know what I'm doing uh, but it's very exciting and <clears throat> very entertaining so I'm really enjoying this and uh, other things that I got to go along with the gel press were these um, bottles of paint, just regular craft paint. Um, I found them in a shop here in the UK called The Works and yeah, I decided to grab them because a lot of people that I've seen using the gel press are saying that cheap craft paint is kind of very good for it. Um, so I got a bunch of colours that I felt like are gonna be useful for uh, what I want to use it um, so yeah we'll see how that's gonna work out <laughs> I hope um, I'm gonna have a good experience with them there was two more things that I got for that gel press uh, ordeal um, I got some stencils I found this on Amazon they were incredibly cheap and I got one stencil that's kind of like this brick facade type of deal and the other one's a sunflower and I already have ideas for both of them but basically what you do is you would put it on the gel press and it will kind of when you use it for printing it will um, this will make it more interesting um, if you put stencil on top of it so I got that for the gel press and you're gonna see me use this in a video I know I'm not very good at explaining what I'm doing um, but yeah uh, another watercolour type thing that I got was another Dalla Rooney Hot Press watercolour uh, sketchbook. I've already went through one of them and I'm still in love with the paper so I decided to grab another one. Um, and I've been through a few sheets already. I don't know, um, I think that after this uh, sketchbook I'll probably, I'm going to try a different brand just to, you know, get a better understanding of what other brands uh, have to offer. Maybe there is a paper out there that I'm going to enjoy more. But for now I'm really loving this. Um, it's great. It's um, my favourite. But while we're still talking about paper, um, while I was at the works and I got the acrylic paint, I found this little sketchbook and it was a bit of an impulse buy. Um, I didn't really need it but I thought it would be neat for Inktober. Um, the paper inside is very cheap, it's definitely not going to handle a lot of water or anything like that. Uh, but um, for what I'm planning to use it for, I think it's going to be good enough. It's definitely the type of paper that I like for sketching, so um, I think it will work well for Inktober and for the way that I'm planning on using ink this year. So we'll see how that goes. But I got that and before that, I found these uh, sketchbooks on eBay and I thought they were a lot of fun because I've been doing some um, custom covers for sketchbooks lately and usually you get black covers or like craft kind of cardstocky covers and these are so bright and fun that I thought it would be very exciting to work with them and it was some sort of weird deal where it was like buy two get one for free so I just ordered all three of them and I'm gonna keep um, one sketchbook for myself so I can try the paper and play around with it and I'm planning on uh, kind of decorating the covers of the other two and eventually they're gonna end up on my in my, on my Etsy shop but that's not gonna be in the near future anyway because I have so many things to play with um, again on the paper front I got this pad of paper from Hobbycraft I buy paper like this uh, maybe I buy a pad maybe once or twice a year when I find one that I really enjoy. This one really grabbed my attention because it's kind of like a watercolour effect on every page and it's very beautiful and I got it with the idea to use it with the gel plate that I showed you and I've already been through 10 or 11 pages of this so it's been proved it's been proving to be a very good purchase and something that I'm really enjoying and I'm gonna get a lot use out of it throughout Inktober as well, I'm sure. And what else did I want to show? Right, um, I got this. Um, 
it's uh, talons, uh, gouache paint and you get 24 different colors. Um, the price was very good, it was $17.99 for 24 colors and to me that's a very good price because I'm, I've been using the, the same brand but in the, the jar packaging for many years now. Uh, I started using this brand when I was 17 and now I'm 24. And I've been through many jars like this and they're not particularly inexpensive so uh, because it's quite an investment to buy the jars I always bought the same colors over and over again and I haven't tried a lot of um, the colors that they offer so I thought this set will be a great way to see what kind of variety you get and the colors are really lovely um, you really get a wide range of different shades so hopefully I'll be able to try out some that I haven't used and if there is one that I really enjoy when I go to Bulgaria and I'm, I'm in the art store I'm gonna buy some jars of the colors that uh, were my favorite so I thought that was very nice there was a silly little thing that I wanted to show you um, but I can't seem to find it okay never mind it's not important um, but this is another silly thing that I got and you're gonna laugh at me uh, but it's basically these empty keychains and they come in two parts like this so when you open them you can put a tiny little work of art inside and then you like seal it shut and I thought this would be such a lovely thing to try and do um, I am going to make some for presents for friends and family and I'm just enjoying working on such a small scale. Um, this is the one that I'm using currently and just look how precious this is, like I, I'm loving it. I just enjoy working on such a small scale and I think it looks so nice um, in that plastic case. So it's just something that I've been doing um, as a, I don't know activity to kill some time I guess but I'm really enjoying it and yeah that's the last thing that I got I really hope you guys enjoyed this video um, let me know if you've tried any of the products that I showed in this video or if there is anything that you would want to see me use first I'm really curious to see what you got to say um, so let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next video guys bye bye